All right, welcome to section five, calculated values and fields. Now we're really starting to cruise. We're really starting to unlock some of the true analytical potential of pivot tables. We started to get there with sorting and filtering tools, which can be really valuable, but calculated values and fields, this is where we're gonna be creating brand new metrics. We're gonna be customizing how we're showing and calculating values in our tables, and we'll really start opening the door for some much more advanced and creative analysis. So let's start simple with summarizing values. In every pivot table value field, there's a summarize values by option. And this determines how numbers should be treated when they're rolled up or aggregated. So let me give you an example. So far in this course, we've been spending a lot of time focusing on budgets and revenues for movie titles. And those titles can be rolled up or aggregated um, at higher levels, like by genre or by country. And when we roll up those revenue numbers, essentially what we're doing is we're adding each of the individual line items or each of the individual titles that fall within that category and summarizing those revenue numbers to produce some grand total that's displayed in the pivot table. But here's the thing, you don't have to sum those values up. You can use the summarize values by options to aggregate your data or display your data in different ways. So instead of the sum of revenue across titles, you can show the count of observations, or you can show the average revenue or the maximum revenue or minimum, whatever field you're looking at. The point is that we do have different options when it comes to actually summarizing the values. So this will be a bit more clear uh, when we actually take a look at some data. So let's jump back into our pivot table and take a look. All right, here we are back in our IMDB movie database pivot just like we left it coming out of chapter four. And for each of these two metrics, budget and revenue, we're summarizing the values based on a sum. So if you right click any value in the column, you can roll down to summarize values by, you can see that check mark next to the sum option. So both budget and revenue are currently being summarized using a sum. Now, because our data is at the title level, and I'm looking at titles here, this is the most granular view that I can possibly get to. Instead of looking by title, let's pull that out and drop in genre as a row label instead. Now, when we see a number like this, $67.5 billion in revenue, essentially that's summing the individual revenues from titles that are categorized within the action genre. But what if we didn't want to show the sum of revenue? In this case, it makes sense, but for the sake of demonstration, let's play with some of these other options. If instead of sum, we chose count, you can ignore the dollar sign, but essentially what this is doing is showing the count of rows or observations that fall into this bucket. So 900 means that there are 900 titles in our raw data categorized in the action genre. There are 1,018 comedy titles, 362 adventure titles, and so on and so forth. So that's an example of how something like count actually could be a pretty useful way to summarize the data. Other options are pretty straightforward. You can take the average revenue, which instead of summing the title level revenues for action films, it's taking the average of those revenues. And then you can also look at the maximum in this case, 760 million would be the single highest grossing title in the action genre bucket. Vice versa, you can look at the minimum, you know, 162. I don't know, I don't know what that movie is, but it apparently didn't do too well. Um, and then finally, you've got some less intuitive or, or lesser known ones. You can take the product, which in this case really doesn't make sense at all. And then if you drill into more options. You'll see some additional ones scrolling down. You can count only number cells. You can take standard deviations or variances, and so on and so forth. Um, so I access this menu just by right-clicking any value in the field. You can also get to that menu right down here in the field list. I can click this arrow to the right and go into value field settings. And here you go. I've got my summarize options right here. So let's set this back to sum, since that is what makes sense in this particular case. And there you have it. So basic options for changing the way you're summarizing your data as it gets rolled up into a pivot table.